Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we got Total Mayhem with a four-way shop with me to coach Michael Kors, Kate Spade, and Tori Birch outlet stores to check out what each store is packing for tote bags. And we're going to see which one has the best tote bag deals. You're behind all this? But before we hop into today's Total Mayhem Outlet Edition, if you guys love handbags, hauls, luxury outlets, shop with me, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoyed today's video. And it helps with that pesky <coughs> YouTube L Go Rhythm. We are starting off at the Kate Spade outlet. And first up, we do have a $129 deal. They do call these the daily deals. But this is the perfect large tote. In the pansy toss with uh, navy blue, I think it is. Looks pretty decent. I believe it's also got like that cross grain effect on it. Has feet on the bottom of the tote bag, which is nice to see. We always like to see feet on, the, on like a tote bag. It just adds extra quality points for me. It's also trimmed with like a leather or faux. I'm unsure exactly. I, no, this is leather actually. Yes. Trimmed with leather. Not bad hardware. Has a nice Kate Spade New York hardware on the front there. Stitching doesn't look bad either. Vinyling looks decent. Nothing to really complain about, in all honesty. Has a nice navy blue inside as well. It doesn't look like the, uh, like the lining looks too papery either. Sometimes with outlet bags, the lining is just like crap. <laughs> the lining is crap sometimes, but the lining in this bag actually didn't look too bad. And the back has a little pouch. It does say this one is a comparable value of $459 Canadian. So $129 is actually in a comparative speaking stance. That's not bad. $129 plus tax. Zipper pull felt decent. Didn't feel too tough. As you can tell, it just glides nicely. Hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> and let's close it up. Like I said, a nice easy slide for a zipper. And underneath it has the black version. But this version doesn't have the leather trim. So that gets uh, some deduction, you will, if you will, for like quality points. Next up is the Ella Tote. The Ella Tote bag in this a beautiful like chalk-like color. Has a nice pebbled leather to it actually. Like I'm not going to lie. It's not a bad pebbled leather. Does say it's a comparable of $4.79. 60% off plus an extra 20%. Not too bad. Not to be confused with it being 80% off. No, it's 60. And then the price that... It's 60% off of, and then you take the 20% off of that. Take 20% off at the checkout. That's the best way to put it. Has a nice zipper glide as well. All trimmed in leather, and I actually really like the canvas used in this one. It's like this nice little cotton canvas almost. It kind of reminds me of like recycled paper or something. I do really like that. Yeah. 
It's not a bad lining at all. And you even got your little Kate Spade New York uh, faux leather or leather stamp. I'm sure those are faux leather. The coach ones are, so I couldn't see why Kate Spades would be real. Not too bad. And then here we also have the rosy large tote. Though this one's green. <laughs> it's just called the Rosy Large Tote. And this one's in a green color. Has a beautiful canvas, actually. That canvas, we're going to see that that doesn't look too bad. That looks actually kind of nice. But in the next store we go to for this video, you're going to notice that like the thread count isn't that much greater than the Kate Spade one, shockingly. Though it does say five. $5.99 or $5.59. Girl, canvas has gotten expensive. Cotton-based canvas has been completely overpriced, and I have no idea why. I assume there's something going on with, like, manufacturing of cotton canvas. Perhaps it's gotten more expensive over the years. Because I do remember when it used to be cheaper. A nice little handle here. One seventy nine can't not a bad deal when you take into that kind of uh, when you see that the other ones were like so expensive. So this one being one seventy nine isn't too bad, and it's in a nice color block leather too. Not too shabby. Looks like Kate Spade has some pretty good tote bags for outlet. All, I believe there is six pouches there in this tote bag specifically. I was trying to showcase it, but like the lighting in these stores is oh, atrocious. So good luck with that. But there is like six little pocket pouches and then like a zipper pouch on the other side. Not too bad. Really though. Now we move on to Tory Burch. Tory Burch Outlet. 50% off of the Monogram Tory Burch bags. These are the Monogram Tory Burch canvas bags. They're totes. I don't know the exact name of this bag specifically. I can't remember off the top of my head. I didn't get the friggin' the damn tag card for this. This is the only bag in the video I didn't get a tag card for. My bad. My bad. But I have seen these before and they are not overpriced. They're pretty cheap on like the Tory Burch outlet seams. So when it says 50% off, I believe their uh, comparable values are 500 Canadian. But that's just from the last time I've been there. And as you can see, this tote bag has feet as well. Stitching looks pretty decent. Not bad leather trim with the canvas got that whole goyard effect to it like every damn what is up with all of these fashion houses copying each other coach has this michael kors had it kate spade had it tori march has it my goodness everyone has it <laughs> everyone's got their mock-up of the goyard and it's like oh but whatever that's fashion in 2023. The zippers in this bag aren't bad either. I will say though, the leather did feel like there was something to be desired. It's nice leather. Do not get me wrong. It's nice leather. But for Tory Burch Outlet, and comparatively when we see throughout the video, it's like you would expect it to be a little bit higher quality. Just a bit. But the canvas itself had a nice wax to it. It's not too bad. And I love the hardware that Tory Burch uses. It's usually nice and sturdy. Here we got the Blake Canvas Jumbo Tote Bag. And as I said, the jacquard there, or like the canvas, it doesn't look too far off from the Kate Spade one. Like it really doesn't in my eyes. Like when these canvases are like, 
spread out among all the brands, it's really hard to like differentiate between all of them because they're all so similar. Now, I do think there is a little bit more to this one, just a tiny bit, but it's not too far off. And for $698, 50% off, 10% off of that, it doesn't matter to me. The Kate Spade one takes the cake. That just feels too expensive to me. But the bag is pretty big. It's a pretty big bag. So I'm not going to harp too much. The leather's nice. Canvas is great. I just feel like the canvas could be a little better. Especially considering what we just seen at Kate Spade. But that's the whole point in this video is to show you all the options. And this one has the Tory Burch little logo on the inside as well. But I will say I didn't really like the microfiber lining used. I did not like that. To me, that looks like that would be like uh, cracking and getting dusty. Like, you know when like vintage bags crack in a certain manner and like it starts getting dusty and falls apart and like you can just tell the materials are disintegrating. It looks like that would start to disintegrate in like 20 years. <laughs> That's just what it was giving to me. I could be wrong. And then here we just have the regular Blake tote bag in pebbled leather. I'm going to say that the finishes on the pebbled leather for Tory Burch are really nice. They're probably my favorite finishes of like these thinner leather tote bags from all the brands in today's video. It just has a really nice finish to it. So as you can tell, it's fairly thin leather, which you're going to get from these outlet stores, $5.98, so not horrible, not horrible, it's got like the little pin mounted logo there, kind of blends in nicely, it's not a magnet, I thought it was a magnet at first, <laughs> but no, it is not a magnet, and it also comes with a little pouch, so there is that added bonus, Sometimes Tory Burch likes to throw in these extra little uh, wristlets or extra add-ins. And that can really add to the additional price tag. So it's nice that she'll throw in some extra goodies. I'm not sure if you can remove it though. I'm not too sure. And then it also has like that inside flap. Beautiful leather. A little thin, yes. But the finish feels nice. And the stitching, the craftsmanship, not too bad. Again, a little flimsy, but... <laughs> Michael Kors Outlet is up next. Up next on today's chopping block. Here we got the Charlotte tote bag for the daily deal of $149 Canadian. So let's take a quick look at it up and close. We have taken a look at this bag multiple times before on my channel, but this is the most recent edition, or re-edition, I should say. The most recently produced. <laughs> Has a nice cross grain Safiano leather. Not too shabby. I'm not a huge fan of the cross grain Safiano leathers. I really like feeling a handbag and feeling that leather finish to it. I like leather. I don't like plastic finish, so. That, but that's just a personal preference. And during these, like, outlet shop with me's, you'll know that it, these brands like to use the Safianos, the Cross Greens, like, those types of leathers. But it's not too bad, though. I'm not going to lie. For Michael Kors Outlet, this isn't looking too bad for $149. But I will say that uh, the lining, a little left to be desired. A little left to be desired. And it also has the little um, Michael Kors sewn-in patch on the inside, just as the other two brands before it have. Just slide it open. It just doesn't feel like a nice, durable lining. Kind of like that one bag we ju I just uh, lightly roasted over in Tory Burch, but what can you do? It's not too bad, though. The construction looks decent. Hardware, decent. 
As long as you take care of it, it should last a while. Here we have the Morella Small Shopper Bag. It's like a mini tote bag. The Morella comes in this nice little soft uh, pebbled leather. Nice leather handles. And behind it is also like a canvas, like a coated canvas. Usually they have like a cotton-based canvas Morella. But for some reason, the Michael Kors Outlet Store had absolutely no cotton-based canvases. Like, at all. I was actually really surprised because usually they do. Uh, but uh, judging from how expensive they were in the previous brands, I uh, I guess I could understand why. <laughs> Knowing Michael Kors. Got the Michael Kors embossing little tag on the inside. Not bad for a mini tote. Not too bad. Nice, easy zipper as well. Here is the larger version. This is the Morella Tote. This one is like a larger version to the shopper. This one has the canvas. I do not like the canvas Thank though. You. I will say the coated canvas looks very plasticky. $658, uh, comparable value, quote unquote. So, eh, pretty expensive. I don't, again, I just don't like the canvas. Michael Kors canvas used to be really, really beautiful and not plasticky like this. So seeing it like this does make me feel a little disappointed. But I'm, I'm not going to harp on them too, too much. Spend $200, get 15% off. Spend $300, get 20% off. But let's quickly switch to Coach Outlet for the final and the fourth brand in today's Shop With Me for the Total Mayhem Outlet Edition. Here we got the City Tote. This is the City Tote in the coated canvas with the red, 1941 red. Uh, leather and cross grain leather inside. I believe, I'm not sure if the inside leather is like actual leather or faux leather, just because the outside is canvas. But nonetheless, it's a really beautiful, beautiful color combo. I really like a nice dark brown with a rich, beautiful red. No, that's not damage on the canvas. That was just like a little white speckle. Good stitching, nice leather. I really, really like Coach, like, outlet leather right now. But I will say the coated canvas is looking a little meager. A little meager. The stitching quality doesn't look too great on the bottom there. I'm not going to lie. But it's a really big bag. Not a horrible price or anything like that. Has a nice story patch on the inside. That's something that Coach does that none of the other brands will do. So that is something nice. $3.98 comparable value. So like 50% off, 60% off, whatever the price said, and then an additional 20% off as of currently filming. It's not a bad price, like, at all. And then here we have this cross-grain leather tote bag. We'll take a nice look at this one, get a feel for it. We've seen cross-grain from all of the other brands, so we'll get a nice feel for which one's the best. But again, I, mm, this one kind of reminds me of the Charlotte tote from Michael Kors outlet that we just seen. So this is like the coach outlet version to that almost. I'm sure they copy each other for everything. It's fine. It's just outlet. But unzip it. Beautiful zipper pull. I love coach hardware. Coach hardware's coach hardware and Tory Burch hardware are some of my favorites, honestly. Has a nice story patch as well. A nice, like, nylon, um, lining. Ugh. Lining and canvas. I always get those two words confused. Has a beautiful lining. I love when Coach Outlet uses that lining in specific. It's just a nice wearing. I think. Personally. And then here we have the Molly tote bag. The Molly tote bag and the signature textile jacquard stripe. I think... 
in my humble opinion, this is probably the best made tote bag in today's video, despite it not having feet on the bottom. We're going to notice that not all of the tote bags had feet in today's video. I wish this tote bag had feet because that would just be additional quality points. But the leather used looks really, really nice. I love the signature textile jacquard that Coach uses as well. 428 comparable value. Really not a bad price. Has a nice insert, or not in, an insert, but it has that nice zipper pocket middle. Has a nice beautiful red lining for cross grain leather. I love the Molly tote bag. Again, my favorite out of all of the tote bags shown today's video. It's just the nicest built. Has the nicest leather bar none. Beautiful zipper pull as well. Get a nice look at the red lining. Has the nice red lining. Love to see it. Craftsmanship doesn't doesn't seem too off or anything like that. We haven't seen any serious uh, quality issues on this bag in particular. Always good to see. Trimmed with leather. Really not much else you can ask for other than the feet on the bottom. <laughs> the feet on the damn bottom. And then here we got the Molly Tote 25 for, uh, whoa, 460 bucks, ma'am. Why is that one so much cheaper than that? I'm a little confused. I am a little confused. Maybe that's like an older, maybe that's like older piece with an older price tag. I'm not exactly sure. And like, this is a newer piece with a newer price tag, but it has the pebbled leather. Not too bad. Has decent stitching on the bottom. The Molly Tote 25 is not bad. Looks pretty decent. 50% off too. And then here, closing off the video with the final tote bag, we got the Cami Chain Tote Bag. Has beautiful gunmetal hardware too. So that's a plus for me. <laughs> Looks very punk. Nice leather. Nice and thick. Doesn't seem too cheap or anything like that. The hardware feels great. Though it does have a nice whopping price tag of $520 comparable value. 50% off. You're paying a pretty hefty price, in my opinion. That's like 500 or not 500 That's like $200, $300 for a outlet tote bag. But one of the better ones in today's video. And it has feet. Nice thick feet on the bottom. Style and quality points for me. Nice, big, beautiful hardware. There can be a hundred people in a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people. 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 Or nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's total mayhem shop with me outlet edition. Yes, there will be a retail edition. But for today's video, who do you think did the best, and who was your favorite? I think best price per value went to Kate Spade, but best quality went to Coach. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's Shop With Me Total Mayhem Outlaw Edition, subscribe if you are new, hit that like button, share with your friends and family, comment any, any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day, or Total Mayhem Outlet video. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Uh, I, 
I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. No, no, show's over. <laughs> show's over.